Hello, and welcome to Sanga Studios. Firstly, thanks to everyone who subscribed recently. I realize it's been nine months since I last posted a video, which is inexcusable, so sorry about that. Um, but if you enjoy this one, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment, it would be good to hear from you. This is part four in my occasional series on building my electric clavichord. I decided that it really needed a new pickup. Originally, I used an old humbucker that I had lying around. Then I replaced it with a pickup that my friend Ollie from Ollie's Guitar Repair in Norwich sent me, which was wonderful, but unfortunately it was quite delicate and I managed to break it. So I ordered a cheap pickup from Amazon to put in there, which I was never particularly happy with. The sound was quite muffled and when I took it out to play gigs, often it would buzz. It didn't work well with PA systems or being in a less controlled setting. It, it wasn't very good. I realised that uh, with a guitar, there is a, a vague hum with the guitar, but most of the time you're in contact with the strings and the strings are grounded to the electronics. But when I've put some EMG pickups in my bass, I realised that they recommend disconnecting the grounding wire, so this idea of touching the strings to mute the buzz isn't necessary with active pickups. Plus, EMG pickups are solder free and I'm so bad at soldering, so I was quite attracted to the idea of using EMG pickups. I ordered an EMG 85. There are various pickups that EMG offers. The 85 seemed to have a warmer, slightly less toppy tone than the 81, which I thought would work better with the sound of the clavichord, which is very harsh. And I got a white one because it was on sale and it was cheaper than the others. I was going to screw it in, but I realised that the pickup was too large to fit under the strings where I'd put the places to screw the previous pickup in. So I thought, OK, well, let's make an escutcheon to hold the pickup. That would also mean I could adjust the pickup height as well. So I started by uh, finding a piece of plywood, uh, drilling the holes to hold the pickup screws and making sure I got them in the right place first. Then I cut the big hole for the pickup with a coping saw, filed down the edges, tested to make sure everything fit, and then cut it out and started thinking about how to mount it inside the instrument. Okay, so I've made this escutcheon and I'm going to try and find a way to sort of mount it under the strings. Ideally I don't want to take the strings off because um, that's how you break them and there's 12. And I've only got one spare. So as you can see it's a bit wide at the moment. I'm going to sand it down bit by bit and so it fits in there. I'm getting there, just a little bit more I think. That will slide in nicely. And there we go. So that's about right size. About the right size. Um, I think I might just have to take a tiny bit off the end because it's poking out a little bit this side. Over here. Now when I first made this thing, I put a slot here to put the wires through, mainly because I didn't want to uh, unsolder and resolder things, because uh, I'm terrible at soldering. Now I've got these amazing EMG pickups. They don't need soldering, you can just plug them into each other. So I'm going to drill a hole through there. I'm going to try and drill a hole through there so that the pickup wire can go nice and tidy underneath. Um, there'll be a bit of a notch there, but never mind. Okay, there we go. There's a little hole there for the wires to go through. 
So I'm making a sort of cage for it. I'm going to screw that into there. And I'm going to put two um, bottom pieces on running that way, which then should nicely screw in from underneath into these holes here to secure it. So you can unscrew it on the bottom and slide the whole thing out, is my plan. Then you don't have to take the strings off, because I'm too lazy. So I'm about to put these bits on the bottom half of the cage, doing it left-handed. So they'll go like that and like that, and then the thing will slide in. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with this. Here's the pickup kind of cage. And it slides in like this. Whoa, check it out. Very nice. And then the pickup itself will go in here first, probably. It's easier to put it in first. And it comes up like that. Woo! So I think I'm going to spray this thing. Oh, the other thing I need to do is, oh yeah, I need to drill some holes underneath so that this slides up. Decide which way around it goes first and then I'll be able to lock it in from underneath. So the screws that were in there before were too long and I think they will interfere with the screws coming down from the pickup. So I replaced it with some shorter ones, which are a bit thin, but anyway, that can be done any time. And this is locked in now. So I'm going to unlock it, take it out, and spray it, and then come back after lunch and assemble it properly, which is very exciting. So I've sprayed it with a bit of lacquer. And it's now out here drying off. Okay, so I've sprayed it with some lacquer, and as I thought might happen, it's become a slightly tighter fit because a lot of lacquer's gone around the edge, but it's fine, I think. That'll squeeze in there. I don't know if I can do it one-handed, um, but yes, that just squeezes all the way in there, and then uh, I'll put the, oh, well, I'm going to put the pickup in and squeeze it in now, and then I'll wire it up, I think. So the pickup's sitting in there beautifully. And I've got the wire coming out there that I need to feed through to the electrics area. And the wire is fed, and I think I can just slide this last bit in with one hand. There we go. And it's in. Hopefully I won't have to do that very often, it's a little bit fiddly, but it could be worse. Now to wire up the other bits. I even spent a couple of hundred yen on a little battery clip. So the battery's sitting there, not rattling around anywhere. I'm going to put the lid on now. So here we have it, all looking rather lovely. I do need to replace the plate. The new knobs I've put on look wonkier than the red ones did. And I think I need to do that properly and cut the holes in the right place. Uh, so that looks nice, but that's not really urgent. Anyway, I'm going to finish with a comparison between the pickups. I've recorded them directly into the input on my sound card, so there's no processing at all except for normalization. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.